What's up, everybody? Welcome to the team of Fishables YouTube channel. So today we are covering what happened at the World Championships 2022 in London, uh, where we saw Arceus Pikachu take down the competition. Uh, very exciting to see that. Uh, very cool for sure. I like that Arceus won both NAC and the World Championship, showing like, hey, this is like this is the best deck. This is what this is what we're trying to play right now. Uh, so look at the first place list. Andres, I'm not sure to say his name, from good old Czech Republic. Um, yeah, it's just what we saw Monday. RC is flying Pikachu, he's soon to sit to I beat if you bear a crow battle, mini on Pikachu, all that kind of fun stuff. We saw this, only one played it, uh, first place. Congratulations, very, very cool to see that. And second place, we actually had another RC Pikachu deck, and this was piloted by Daichi. Now, this one did include. A Jolteon list. Now, Jolteon is a very good inclusion for this deck because it makes it where part of Pokemon and play both yours and your opponents have no abilities. This means cards like, um, you know, Drizzile, uh, uh, Drizzile, Teleon, Palkia V Star, um, good old Radio Greninja, Luminion, all these water Pokemon, um, have no abilities, which is great. It also does not block Pikimuku because Pikimuku is actually not in play, which is good to point out. Uh, now, I did play a split of Eevee. It has a V search search for three Pokemon V and one Eevee with Resonant Evolution. Once you're charge, you may play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one your other Eevee. You may search every card that evolves Pokemon put onto this Eevee. So, uh, playing one with Decidueye, uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, you know, hit the, the mirror or hit for weakness. We did see it play in the other list as well, uh, but they played a 2-2 two -two while this one played a 1-1. One, one. Uh, one Glare Moltres V for that good old, you know, if you're still scared of Mew, Glare Moltres is here to help with that. Uh, Kerba V and Luminion with Pump Kaboo for research for Marnie 3 Boss. Uh, playing 3 Boss to the 4, playing 4 research to the 2, 4 Quick, 4 Ultra Ball, 1 Switch, 3 Memory Caps. So actually no Evolution Instance on the other list and 3 Path Peak instead of 4. Uh, for DT two 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 two, uh, they do play ordinary run to get back the energies if needed. But two two two, that's insane with two capture. And let's look at the third place list. Let's get another RC flying Pikachu. It's interesting that I got first, second, and third. Uh, it played two of this EV, didn't split. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Yeah, it looks like the only difference between Ryota and Daichi's is the split of the EVs. Yep, everything else is exactly the same. So let's start, let's stop talking about Arceus Flying Pikachu. Let's talk about Arceus, uh, I mean Arceus, uh, Palkia Vsar, right? We see the Sobble, Drizil, one one Italian, one Red Greninja, but Kerbomble V was the interesting conclusion of the deck with that Destroyer Punch 90. If this, if this attack does 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Now this could Hypothetically, help out against Pikachu, right? If you get lucky enough, like, you know, maybe get some damage on Fly Pikachu, the Krabomble could smack and take a knockout. It is weak to steal, not to lightning. I don't think this is what it's for. I imagine it's for, like, a different reasoning. Uh, maybe, like, spread some damage, and then, like, Krabomble V comes up. <sighs> Trigger Avenge could take out your opponents. Um, but we do see, the main thing to point out is this Cross Switcher. In Battle of VIP Pass, it looks like most of the Palkia decks are going to play the four cross stitcher for Battle of VIP. Uh, three bucket, we want to super draw cards. We see that it got fourth and seventh place, which is pretty insane, right? Um, I need to test more of the Kerbomble V to see what it's actually in there for. If you know what it's in there for, leave it down below what you think it's in there for. I'm, I'm really curious. Echoing Horn is a really good inclusion to take some quick knockouts. Uh, one choice about one tool jammer with one quart. Um, only the one quart. Which means you are very prone to pass at a peak if you are scared of that. Uh, we see Andrew Estrada, World Champion 2014, come back with a 3-3 Palkia, 4-4, four, 4-3. Four, four, only one Italian, not the ping one, and not also playing for Bomba V. Uh, going instead with the heavy, uh, you know, super consistent build instead. Uh, one Melanie, one Ball Sorter, uh, four Cross Switcher, one Leon, uh, which could be spicy to do damage out of nowhere. I think... People were talking about how, like, you know, people didn't think he could take a knockout. Then he Leon, and plus, like, you know, Choice Belt, that's additional 60 out of nowhere, which could mess up numbers if you don't know your opponent is playing a uh, Leon in the deck, which is pretty interesting. Two scoop net, one, v one VIP pass. So not the four, the one VIP pass, but we do have a bunch of one-ups. Like, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 one ups. Holy cow, Andrew. I don't know how you, I don't know how you play the deck, Andrew, but man, 17 one ups. What a list. What a list. Uh, let's see. Sixth place, we have Mew, which is pretty interesting. I think people were, you know, not expecting Mew as much, but 4 3 Mew, 4 Genesis, 2 Miloetta, 1 Punk Boo, of course, uh, countered those good old Path to the Beaks. We do see three sparkle through boss order. So this is not a catcher version. I think Andre is like very heavy against uh catcher version, so he does not like the catcher version. Um they don't like the catcher version. Sorry. Uh four VIP pass, four quick ball, four ball, four gram, four rotom phone, two switch, one is two escape rope. So two switch, two escape rope, both of each, uh, both of each. Uh one echoing horn, two choice ball, and two roast tower. So four stadiums. I do like that a lot. Four stadium stuff, but it gets Path of the Week. I think Path of the Week is still what hurt them in the end. Uh, but, man, I'm a, I'm excited to test more of Mew. I think Mew is an underrated deck and could be really good. Could be really good. Uh, we do have another Palkia, which is the same list as James. We saw that. Uh, Tavia. Let's see what their Palkia list look like. Uh, it's interesting because all the Palkias look kind of different. Um, this is what we can't sell Cologne and Echoing Horn. Two quick three level, three scoop of net, three bait bucket, uh, four cross switcher. So four cross switcher is definitely the play. Uh, the question is, do you play, you know, four VIP pass? This one is playing four. Well, the other one we saw just like ago, Andrews only played one. Uh, let's see. Calvin, uh, unfortunately, got ninth. So Calvin was on the bubble of making eighth and ninth, and unfortunately would lose. Uh, but four cross switcher, one Leon as well. Oh, play the same list as Andrew. Look at there. So we already covered this list. We don't have to cover it. I like the deck. You scroll down below. We can see what it is. Uh, to Toyoko uh, has a put less into the Mew player. But Grant Manley appeared with the deck that I'm more excited about. And that is Ice Rider. I love Ice Rider. Ice Rider is one of my favorite decks right now. Uh, Ice Rider Kalarx. Got the Max Lance. Does 240. Uh, plus 10 base. So 250. Plus choice about 280. I uh, do see the 2 2 Palkia. So you can, like, you know, subspace swell if you need a good attack. But. Star Portal is really good to help power Pokemon. Uh, 2 2 B Barrel, 1 Ready Greninja, Pulling on to V, uh, which is really good against uh, basic Pokemon. Uh, so, like, let's say without no abilities. So, you know, good old Regigigas. That's pretty good against Miltink as well. Uh, Kerba V to help draw. Puke Mew to draw. Mew, Pumpkaboo. Uh, the Mew is interesting. The Puke Mew is interesting. Not cards you really see in Ice Rider. 8 Water Energy, 4 Rita, 4 3 Melanie, but 4 Cross Switcher. Uh, the four cross switch is pretty cool because it allows you to Melanie push cross switcher in the same turn. Um, so that's pretty neat. Four quick ball, four quick ball. And there's no, um, there's no, like, uh, there's no Italian on this list, but uh, you can, like, I read it for the cross switchers. But four quick, four quick ball, four trekking shoes. Uh, trekking shoes is another interesting card. Like, look at top card, discard one, discard it, or put it in your hand. If you discard, draw the next card. Bucket for Water G's, one VIP pass, which is like with Arita. Tool Scrapper to get rid of Big Charm, stuff like that. Um, also against uh, Tool Jammer. Cancel Cologne, which is another interesting card. Um, I think it's for the the Manaphy deck. Um, because they have Manaphy, you can like boss with the Manaphy, cancel Cologne, it's like a knockout with, and it hits somebody else in the bit. With we'll switch two choice belt, one air balloon, one training court. Uh, Ice Rider. I think it's an underrated deck. Um, we have RC Italian, which is like one of the most hyped decks going into Worlds, unfortunately. What place with that? Um, 12th. So 4 3, 4 3, what, 2, 1 in a row on Guru, 6 water, 4, 2, 4 Marnie, 2 chains care. The only person to play was Lucas, okay? Just like kept it like. Super simple um, Pokemon both years. Your opponents can't be healed, so that's pretty interesting. Four Marnie, two Chern. Yeah, just like we're going to be super consistent play RC's V Star. Um, big Charm. So, like, you're never knocking out Arceus, pretty much, right? Is that the game? The goal The goal here, you just like never knock out Arceus? Yeah. Orn Grew, which is pretty interesting. That's Marnie. Yeah. So walks in to help punish Melanie. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, only two scoop of that. I would struggle with that to play that deck. Um, RC Zagar, I covered that yesterday. Uh, I think this is a deck I really want to cover too. One day, it is an art. It's an origin for Palkia V Star, right? So you 
good good cards, good cards, right? Pack of Beasts are good. But I played a Jolteon here to shut down the mirror. So like you're set up and you play more like research cards, like right? You play three research, three Marnie, two Melanie. So like you're able to set up more because you have more supporter cards. So like hypothetically you should do better against the mirror because you have Jolteon, right? Um, and then also you play Shopping Center, so you get pick up uh, the memory capsule. So Shopping Center lets you pick up tool back in your hand, which you can pick up memory capsules to turn off um, Thunder's Awakening, and you can put it back on, uh, which is pretty neat. I do like the Starmie V to help punish your opponent. They get a bunch of energies on the field. Pokemon V, once again, for the, uh, you know, the Roblox Pokemon. I think it's like an underrated deck that we, hopefully, people test more of, because I think it's really cool. I wonder what they lost to, unfortunately. Um... It's a pretty underrated deck. I want to test more of it for sure. Looks pretty good. Um, and next up we have Ross with his Charizard to tell you Now I know Ross did make it to day two by playing through day one with the same deck. Uh, four, three, two, one Radiant Charizard. That's his main attack at 250. Can't attack next turn, right? That's pretty cool. Plus Choice Belt, 280. Uh, two Fire, two Water, one Twin. Now the point of the deck is like you go turn to you. Like Red Candy Italian uh, and start like doing aqua bullets, right? Do some damage and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Like there's only one Red Candy, but I think that's the point of it. Like you get the quick out uh, Magma Basin, so you get attach a Fire G from Scrouts Wonder Bench Fire Pokemon, which of course Radiant Charizard. And the thing about Radiant Charizard has excited heart. This Pokemon's tax costs one less colors for each prize your opponent has taken. So what your opponent's taking like you know two prize cards, you can like. I touch a water, touch a twin, and then you can start attacking, like, right, when they take two knockouts. So that's pretty neat. Uh, for cross switcher, punish your opponents. Claire to get back to Charizard. And once, so like, once your opponent's knocked out, like, two Pokemon, then a Charizard, then you really just need two energies, because then they take a three cards, and that's what Claire is, like, really good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think this is another super underrated deck. I will be curious to see how well this deck does with so much Jolteon doing, uh, uh, with Jolteon doing so well. It could be put this in a bad situation. But Charizard is pretty cool. Um, Isaiah Bradner with his uh, Palkia deck. I uh, played the Zigzagoon, Kermat, Manaphy, Radio Greninja, 1-1 one, one Split. For Cross Witcher, for VIP Pass, um, Isaiah and his crew are the ones who like help like push this, right? The 4 Cross Witcher, 4 VIP Pass kind of thing. For our read of one Melanie, one Boss, one Roxanne, and one Marnie. There's a bunch of one ups in this deck, too. Oh my goodness, there's so many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 one ups. Oh my goodness, get out of here. I cannot play the deck like this. Uh, Pablo with his Red Gigas deck. Um, I think we all know the story of Pablo. Blah, blah, blah. If he didn't do blah, 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 he could have probably made top 8 of Worlds for sure, for sure. But I don't know how he would take down it. Pikachu. Uh, that's what Pablo's got to figure out with this deck. I think the deck is still good. Obviously, Pablo did really, really well with it. Um, you use Regigigas, the H of Wisdom. You have a bunch of Regis in play. You can attach three to G to one of your Pokemon. You have Regileaky, which can do a ton of damage. 120 and 40 to Snipe. And of course, with Choice Belt, you're doing 300. Regidrago is just like 160. Plus, you draw it. You have four cards in your hand. Uh, Regie Ice. I mean, this could... Make it where the Jade Pokemon Token V it can't attack to your opponent's next turn. So maybe this is how you get around the Pikachu, maybe. Reggie Rock. It's just what 40. Hits for RC's weakness. Reggie Steel. Just um I don't know what Reggie Steel is good for. I mean 220 minus 50 for each energy attached to your opponent's attack Pokemon. So whatever. For research three Marty, two Cynthia, two boss, four ordinary ride, get back our Pokemon, four scoop of a net. Uh, to, re to pick up our guys for quick three ultra ball two energy ball to find your special energies one hit soon have ball to look at your pokemon uh four choice spell and four pokestop which is the new inclusion in this deck uh look at discard top three cards of your deck if you discard your item cards put those in your hand you play a lot of item cards here you play a lot of item cards so um yeah i think regigigas is a good pickup if you want to touch that, test that deck uh so outside of that that's top 16 top 17 let's see if there's anything else that we want to cover that looks pretty interesting um uh, the hello, hey baby Zora. Zora said hello, everybody. She said hello. Um, outside of that, uh, nothing else is too interesting to really note. Uh, I imagine Azul's deck is probably the same as Grant. They probably work together. Azul has a post on its list. Um, there's a Dorala dog we haven't seen. Tim Bartels, I think he's the person that did well. No, 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 this is somebody else. So the name sounds really familiar though for a good old 
uh, Germany. So the name sounds really familiar. I can't remember where I know the name from. But outside of that, I mean, outside of the top 16, nothing else is too exciting, right? Um, let's look at the other Mew player, Gabriel Smart. Um, they did, did they play? Yeah, did they play the, the catchers, so. They play the catchers, so. Same Pokemon, the Mew, Genesect, Mellow, and that stuff. Did, um, did Andre also only play two Mew v Oh, they played three Mew Max, which I like that more. I like three Mew Max. I like three Mew v Max. Um, also on Pokemon's PTCG stats, we can look real quick, see if there's anything on top 32 that people have posted, because World Championship on Limitless only goes top 32, because that's what people care about. Um, outside of that, you got the, uh, the Worship of Papia Shopping Center thing, Radiant Charizard Arteleon, Ice Rider B-Barrel, <clears throat> Origin Form Palkia, RC is fine, Pikachu. Lucario, stop, get out of here. That's exciting, look at that, Lucario made an appearance. Whoa, whoa. Not bad for a first try, yeah, congratulations. So, um, if you don't know, also, this is the person that translates all the all of our cards. Um, just heads up. They translate every Pokemon card. So I don't know how to say their name, but congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, JW playing the RC's Pikachu deck. Uh, I'll see what he has to say. Anything crazy? Mm, can't thank you enough. Spicy, spicy. Um, there's a, Mew, a Mewtwo V seal. They got 51st. Um, is it the same? Is it different? Oh, I can't see the tweets. Oh, man. Unfortunate. There's a Dorilla Dudum. Another Mewtwo. Fine Pikachu. I think outside of that, there's nothing else too crazy um, that I don't know about. Oh, there's another. Let's see if we can see this one. There you go. There we go. Good old Mewtwo. So. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else really too crazy to talk about. Be Sander played Storm Journer. I wonder if Sander should just play Mewtwo. He probably should just play Mewtwo. So. See Travis playing Mew as well. So. Um. Tor Red Glove, unfortunately, did come with a super spicy deck. The Limitless Crew came in with this, like, Vika Volt deck. And we'll cover it probably next Tuesday. Uh, it's like a Vika Volt with Charizard. Um, you're trying to slow them down with Paralyzed Bolt and stuff like that. Ludicolos, you do additional damage. Charizard does a ton of damage. So, um, but yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it was uh, the spicy Limitless deck that unfortunately didn't work that well. But you win some and you lose some. So. Uh, some people did play Lunatic Sword Rock. I think Frank wrote a good little paragraph about this. Um, so if you want to read about it, you can. So Talked about he was not disappointed in his deck choice at all. So he gave a very high, high praise. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's everything that we need to know. Um, if there's any decks I, I, I missed, let me know. Um, the, what was your favorite deck to come out of the World Championship? Mine, of course. It's probably the Aggron deck. It seems really cool. I had a lot of fun playing that yesterday. And outside of that, probably the Palkia Jewelteon deck. I haven't tested it just yet, but I think it looks pretty neat. Um, I want to test more with me. I want to test more with the Gigas. There's a lot to test for Baltimore. And Baltimore's like in three weeks or something like that. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any suggestions down below. And uh, next week, we'll talk about maybe Lost Origins. Maybe. I know. It's kind of weird because, like, Wall storage is coming out, but it's not legal for Baltimore Regionals, so we'll see. All right, guys. Bye.